Hey, what's up and welcome back to this new video on the channel. We are back in our turning a light UI into a dark UI video series. This time we are creating a dark UI for a smart home app and I can't wait to show you the final result. This video is sponsored by Dev Mountain, an in-person coding and design bootcamp. So here we have a very beautiful UI and of course you can always download the freebie of this light UI in the video description and also my version which is going to be the dark UI, the dark mode of this UI. Uh, both links are in the video description, check that out, download the videos. If you enjoyed this video hit the thumb up button and also make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So we are grabbing the first of these screens, I'm gonna create a copy of it and I'm placing it below the actual screen. Um, oh no, that's not such a good idea because I don't have too much space available. But for this first screen, I would like to make sure that we are changing a nice and dark background color. So the background should be in about this color. And then let me check out the original uh, file, the original screen um, and because uh, right here I see that the, the bottom bar, the navigation bar or tab bar, whatever, whatever, has a different color or its own color basically. And I want to make sure that I'm designing as close to the original one as I can get. So we have an F8, F9, F9 in here. And then we have a background, which is just plain white. So the, the tab bar down here is a bit like separated from a color point of view from the background um, and we can of course respect that. Then we have a little line uh, rectangle in here and of course let's also decrease the visibility to the color like that. I think that looks quite good already. Um, we need to also make sure that we have a nice uh, color set for those iOS uh, elements. So I'm grabbing all of the contents in here and I'm changing the fill colors and also the border colors. Then we have text layers. I think February, like the, the timestamp, looks quite nice already but when it comes to the uh, welcome message i gotta say i don't really like the color on our dark ui screen i'm sure this looks much nicer but uh, the timestamp is fine so let's already compare our two versions and we see from a first point of view that you could already use that so that was super fast um there are a few things that I would still like to improve, but um, this is already perfectly fine. Um, we have the background right here and the back background is using a few shadows. Now in the dark mode, it will be very hard to use shadows because uh, if there's no light available, you won't have any shadows. So we can actually get rid of those uh, because you can't really see them. What I would have to do is to make them like more visible but then again it's not a shadow anymore but a but a shine um which is why i, I would say uh we will just get rid of all of the shadows available like that so we have now very clean dark ui ah okay i have to do it step by step step by step here we go this is um, the first screen and we can decrease the fill of this element a little bit like that because uh, let's not just get blinded. And that already looks kind of nice, but it was also the easiest screens of these three right here. Why not jump into this run, the second one? And I'm gonna now just use the color picker because we already set the um, already set the, the background color in here. Now let's turn this one into white 
And I'm not gonna now copy the status bar elements so we don't have to paste them. Ah, uh, we don't have to change them. Okay, now this is a bit more interesting. Um, okay, I still also need to change the color of the bottom tab bar, of course. Let's not forget about that. And also the little line layer, which is quite hard to select. But in here, ah, it's so hard to grab it. What color do we have in here? I'm gonna just copy the, the color code and paste it in here like that. Now it's getting interesting. We have these um, boxes and all of them have shadows, of course. Let's get rid of the shadows. When there is no light, there are not, not any shadows. Okay. Deselect all the shadows. You could also delete them in here, but I want to save them for later. Um, so now we have these background layers and they all have the same color. Some of them have a border apparently. So the, I guess the disabled state has a border and the enabled state doesn't. Okay, let's turn the UI down to about like this or maybe a bit brighter. And I think it was a bit in the bluish direction so we can also play with the color a bit like that. About like that. Now of course, now let's select all of the headlines. Oh, <laughs> all of them have a different font. I don't have the font. I'm just, I'm just gonna select them piece by piece and then just switch up the font. Of course, uh, you could use a better font. For the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna use SF Pro Text. So now we can select all of them. Ah, and the disabled state. No, let's focus on the on the little rectangle for the disabled state first. Um, actually, they are like having the same background color. So I'm sure we could just also use the same background color um, as we already set it. But then we have this uh, little line that is laying outside of it. Um, and I'm not really sure why we are adding a line to the disabled item because I would normally use it for the enabled item. But anyway, we are just converting the already created UI by the original designer. Okay, so we have managed that quite well. Okay, now I see the difference. Okay, we have the, the like shadows for the enabled state and the disabled state looks like that. Um, maybe we can also change the way we used our background color. Maybe make this a little, a tiny bit brighter so you, you get a better understanding of what's enabled and whatnot. And I would like to get rid of the border. Now let's select all of these headlines for our enabled states. And they have to be quite light now, like in a reversed state. Okay, let's again enable my fonts here as a pro text. And again, we have to change it into a light font. Then we have a few icons in here. The orange icons are fine, but when we have these sliders for the dark version, I would like to make them a little bit, a tiny bit darker. And then we have this TV icon. And I think we can all agree on the fact that this needs to be a bit more, a tiny bit more visible. Should it have the same color as the text? I mean, it has in here, so 
I'm just gonna use the color picker and now copy the original color code paste it in here boom there we got it so these orange elements are the ones that are enabled and we have one icon left in here which is the pause icon and I would also make sure that the visibility of the icon is quite good. I think that means that we need to reduce the visibility or the color of the icons like um, of the, the left and right icon which is moving our Decrease the focus of those by a bit, like that. Now let's zoom out. Of course, let's also decrease the color of the um, home, what is it called? Home indicator? I think home indicator is the core word. So if we zoom out now, we see that we have a quite nice uh, UI created. The dark UI of the original one looks good. I would like to use it. <laughs> okay, now the last part. For the last part, which is this screen, I'm just gonna copy um, what we just created and now paste in the media overlay temperature pop-up is the correct name of it. Um, what he did is to add a dark overlay to darken the top part <laughs> and if I paste it in here <laughs> it's getting brighter. <laughs> so make sure you're using a dark color like maybe just plain black as I'm using it right here and then we can work with that. Let's try out our normal uh, background color. And I think it was a good choice to just use the normal background color. But of course, make sure at first to change the font uh, color. And of course it has to be centered. Change the temperature. Could be white or we could also use our light blue like that. Then we have uh, our little switch in here. Oops. And our little switch should be a little bit brighter than the rest of our interface or maybe even darker. That would also look kind of cool. Maybe let's go for a bit of a darker switch. Then again, recenter it, and let's change the color into white or light blue. Boom. Next up is our slider. And again, this one should be Um, about like that. Then we have the cancel button. Cancel button could also get a dark state. That looks good. And I would like to change the color of our little indicator there. Drag and drop indicator. Maybe make it also dark. So it's not getting so much focus, so much attention, you know. Let's try out a light color for the slider button. Uh, but I don't really like that. I think this one looks quite good actually. <laughs> so this is the full overview of uh, the design transition from the light UI 
into the dark UI. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can download both files in the video description. Make sure to check out also the other videos I did from converting a light UI into a dark UI. I think that's a very funny uh, task to do and I hope you also enjoyed this video. If you liked it, hit the thumb up button and also make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. We will see us in the next video and have a nice day. Bye. Dev Mountain offers housing at no extra cost for immersive students and they have a career services team to help with job placements. Dev Mountain would love to hear from you so be sure to click the link in the video description if you or somebody you know is ready to dive into the UX design program.